Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Amy J with Positive Energy for Life and we are so excited you're joining us for yoga today. I'd love to introduce you to you my favorite assistants, Wendy, who's going to be doing more advanced poses, and Ray, who's going to be doing some modifications for you so you can follow those, but we'll talk you through them as we go. Today we're really going to be focusing on Sun Salutation B. The first show taught you Sun Salutation A and we'll be warming up with that today. And then we're going to go do some great poses for you to learn. So nice and easy, we're going to stand straight, grounding our feet into the earth. Sometimes it helps to just roll forward and back and then relax on your feet, planting them into the earth. You want to open up your shoulders, palms are forward and your hands to the side with your thumbs out. Let's just take a moment here, standing in what's called Tadasan, that's the Sanskrit name for mountain pose. And maybe close your eyes and just check in with yourself. Allow yourself to acknowledge where you're at today. And remember through the whole class, anytime you need to drink water, grab some water. Anytime you take a, need to take a rest, take a rest. It's always great to maybe have some blocks with you, which we're going to use today, or some straps so you could help yourself modify the poses. Gently, we're gonna open up our eyes. Let's bring our palms together, our hands to our hearts for a moment. And let's just be thankful we're here. We're gonna start with Sun Salutation A, warming up. Inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, prepare, that's a flat back. Palms come flat, take it to plank. Remember, your shoulders over your wrists, abs are nice and tight, front thighs to the back thighs, and we're gonna take it into chaturanga push-up position. Good, elbows into the rib cage, and then roll it up to cobra, as Ray will show you, or upward dog, as Wendy will show you. Honor your body and wherever you're at with no judgment. That's our intention today. Push it back to downward dog. Look through your hands, soften your knees, walk or float forward to prepare. Prepare as your flat back, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And again, exhale, swan dive right into folding pose. Use your breath, inhale, prepare. Palms come flat, take it to plank, right into your chaturanga. Roll it up to upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Hold your downward dog for a moment. I want you to really focus when we're doing chaturanga and push up position. Hold your downward dog, you guys look great. Good, I want you to roll it forward to plank. We're gonna take it to chaturanga, but before we do, I want you to hold your plank. I want you to be real careful. I know a lot of us pull our necks forward. I want you to keep your ears aligned with the shoulders. You could always drop your knees, elbows into the rib cage, very important, because we're gonna be doing a lot of this for sun salutation B as well. And then you're gonna roll it up to cobra. Relax your shoulders back, don't tense the necks. To upward dog. And then exhale, back to downward dog where we left off. Good job, look through your hands, soften your knees, walk or float forward, prepare. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, let's warm up with one more sun salutation B. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, prepare, flat back. Palms come flat, take it to plank. Right into your chaturanga, keep your head up, don't drop it, roll it up to upward dog, make sure those elbows are into the rib cage. Exhale, downward dog. Look through your hands, soften your knees, walk or float forward, prepare. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, namaste. So the two things I'm gonna challenge you today is when you're in folding pose, don't just hang your arms, I want you to reach. When you go to prepare, I want you to still reach those arms. And the other again, I just wanna repeat, when you go into chaturanga, don't pull forward with your neck, keep your neck up, elbows into the rib cage. you wanna use your chest and shoulders without causing any injury. And then you roll it up to upward dog or cobra. Okay, nice and easy. The first pose we're gonna go through for sun salutation B is chair pose. 
So you're gonna inhale, bring your arms up, and then sit back into a chair pose. Good, and breathe. Good, so we're gonna hold this pose for a minute. I want you to get real comfortable. So let's just shift forward, guys, for a minute. Your knees come forward, right? The biggest fear with chair pose is when you sit back, it's like, oh my God, my toes are gonna pick up and I'm gonna fall backwards. When you use the rest of your body and your abdominals, almost like you're doing a sit up, now we can shift back, tighten your buttocks, sit back, really strengthen and elongate, and then reach up. Good, inhale, come up. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, prepare. We know these poses from Sun Salutation A. Palms come flat, take it to plank, right into your chaturanga. Watch those necks, roll it up to cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And you're gonna lift your right leg, swing it forward for warrior one. So warrior one, we also went through in the first show, right? Warrior one, your front foot comes forward, your back heel is gonna press towards the ground. Now you might see warrior one very often on the ball of the foot, we're gonna play with that later. Okay, but we wanna really stretch through the calf and the ankles. If you allow your toes and your foot to face in a diagonal, you will be able to turn your hips forward and relax the heel down. The other key to this pose is not keeping one foot in front of the other. Walk it so your hip distance apart. So when I take my foot back, the hip distance apart, I allow my heel to melt and then I reach up. Good, from here we're gonna take it down to plank, right into your chaturanga, push up position. Roll it up to upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your left leg, swing it forward for warrior one. Good, and we're gonna hold this because we held the other side and balance is really important. Don't worry, we're gonna have lots of balance coming up in our next shows also. We all have to work on all these areas of our body. Hold that pose and feel what comes up for you as you hold a pose. You should feel that work in the thigh, your quadriceps. You should feel the opening of the hip flexor of your long leg, the calf pressing that heel into the floor and hold it. We wanna elongate through our core. Our arms are nice and straight. We're reaching up, ah, oh, that feels so good. Exhale, swan dive into plank. Take it right into your chaturanga. Roll it up, upward dog. And remember, in any upward dog, feel free to do your cobra. That's bending your elbows. You still keep your elbows into the rib cage. Exhale, downward dog. Look through your hands, soften your knees, walk or float forward, prepare. Exhale, fold. On your inhale, we're gonna come up to that chair pose. So inhale, come up, really use your abdominal muscles as you come up and hold. Good, hold it. We're gonna hold it. Nice, so let's sit down and talk for a little while. Okay, nice and easy, we're gonna reach up and exhale in a namaste. Good job, so that's sun salutation B. Very similar to sun salutation A, only we include warrior one and chair pose. So let's go through a couple of those. You guys are already becoming experts. Inhale, take it up to chair. So obviously we take it down as well, but we reach up. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, prepare. Make sure you're using your breath. Palm come, palms come flat. Take it to plank, right into your chaturanga. Looking good. Roll it up, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your right leg, swing it forward for warrior one. Drop that back heel. Good, work with it, beautiful. Take it down to plank, right into your chaturanga. Hold your chaturanga for a second. Let's breathe, let's really strengthen. Remember, if you need to drop your knees, you can. You can take your chest down if you need to. Try to keep that belly off the floor. Good, roll it up to upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your left leg, swing it forward to warrior one, drop that back heel. Good, work with it. Check out your form while you're holding these poses. Look at it. Is your front knee over your heel or are you letting them ride over your toes? We wanna to keep it back over the heel. We wanna save those knees. 
Good, and are we extending up? Do we feel good? Reach for all those good things you want. Nice, exhale, take it down to plank, right into your chaturanga. Roll it up, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Look through your hands, walk or float forward, prepare. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take it all the way up and take it to chair. Exhale, namaste. Good, so just take a moment. We're gonna do one more, because I say three times a charm, and then we're gonna move on and do some other poses. Ready? You should be feeling warmed up now, and get that body heated up, flow, the body flowing, the circulation going. This is what yoga is so important for. Inhale, take it up to chair pose. I say it's up and down, right? Exhale, swan dive to fold. It's all how our perception is. Inhale, prepare. Palms come flat, take it to plank, right into your chaturanga. Give it all you got, guys. Roll it up to upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Lift that right leg, swing it forward for warrior one, drop that back heel. You're doing great. Take it down to plank right into your chaturanga roll it up upward dog exhale downward dog nice just breathe here for a sec yeah i could feel that energy flowing lift your left leg swing it forward for warrior one drop the back heel and take it up for warrior one hold it yeah nice take it down to plank right into your chaturanga Roll it up, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Look through your hands, soften your knees. Walk or float forward, prepare. Exhale, fold in half, yeah. Soften your knees, inhale, take it up to chair. And exhale, namaste. Another pose that you're gonna see very often if you go to any classes, Anywhere you might go is warrior two. There are three warriors. We learned about warrior one and practice it on show one and two. Now we're gonna go more into warrior two. So warrior two, you're gonna keep your right foot forward and your left foot back. Take it back to warrior two. I really want you to look at your form. So my right foot's forward, my left foot comes back. I'm lifting up my arms. When I look under my wrists, my, my ankles are right there. And watch, I wanna bend my knee, eventually taking it into a right degree angle. So take it into this pose while I talk to you. Don't get bored, hold it, because you're doing, you're doing good yoga work here. You wanna externally rotate, especially sometimes we'll have tight hips, and it pulls in, we wanna open that up. We want to make sure that back leg, front thigh to the back thigh, contract it, elongate through the body, and then look over those front fingertips. Beautiful. And hold. Feel it. Feel that burn a little bit in that thigh. Good. One big step. Take your left foot next to your right. And let's go to the other side. So you're gonna keep your left foot forward, take your right foot back, and let's take it into warrior two. Now, if I take a pen and draw a line from your front heel to your back foot, you really wanna make sure that it's making a T in, into somewhere in your middle foot. Good, melt, reach your arms up, Look over that hand. This is called the Proud Positive Energy Warrior. And hold. Good, and breathe and hold. Nice. Good, one big step. Right foot next to your left. Take it to Tadasan. Okay, ready? We're gonna keep our right foot forward. Take your left foot back for warrior two again. You guys look great, you got it, right? Front knee's over the heel, it's in a right degree angle. Back thigh is pressing in. If I draw a line from your front heel to your back foot, it's gonna go somewhere in the middle of your foot. Your shoulders are relaxed, yet you're really working those arms, holding them out. 
You're looking over that front hand, and now we're gonna take it into what's called reverse lateral angle. So you're gonna grab onto the back thigh, you're gonna open up, and we really wanna open up the rib cage. Looking awesome. Good, and breathe. So I'm just gonna come over and open them up a little bit more. The tendency here when you're in lateral, reverse lateral angle is to straighten the knee. We don't wanna do that. Take it back to your warrior two and keep that right knee bent. Good. One big step, left foot next to your right, Tadasan. Nice, keep your left foot forward, take your right foot back to warrior two. You guys are doing great. How do you feel? Good. Beautiful, hold it. Look over that front hand. Remember that T line. You guys look awesome. I, maybe we'll just stay here the whole afternoon. <laughs> okay, nice and easy, or the whole evening, or the whole morning, or the whole day. Take it to reverse lateral angle. So here in reverse lateral angle, we really want to open up that rib cage. It's very easy to do a back bend. I want you to take that back bend out and really open up the rib cage. If your elbow is bent, I want you to straighten it, really extending over that ear. Yeah, feel it. Nice, and let's take it back to warrior two and hold. Good, and breathe. Nice, one big step, let's take both feet together to Tadasana. Good, how you guys doing? I hope you're doing all right. I think you're doing great. Okay, so now we're gonna do some poses with warrior two. We're gonna keep our right leg forward, okay? And nice and easy, take it back to warrior two again. This time, we're gonna take our forearm to the thigh, and we're gonna bring our left arm up. Good, hold here. Then we're gonna bring that arm over the ear for lateral angle. Now there's a couple options here. For modifications, you can use a block. I'm gonna give Ray a block so he can put his hand on the block. And or you could bring your fingertips and your hands all the way down to the floor, hold that lateral angle, good. Then we're gonna bring our arms straight up, hold it, nice. Tighten that thigh, tighten your abdominals. On an inhale, come all the way up. Beautiful. I'm gonna move this, one big step. Take your left foot next to your right. Good job, let's go to the other side. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, left foot stays forward. Right foot comes back. Warrior two. And hold. Forearm comes to the thigh. Right arm comes up. Bring that arm over the ear for lateral angle. Good, and again, you're gonna either take that hand down to the block, keep the lateral angle, or bring your hand down to the floor. You can take it to the palm or the fingertips. Then you're gonna lift that arm straight up, palm faces the way your heart faces, hold it. Beautiful, tighten your core. And with your breath on an inhale, come all the way up. Beautiful, one big step. Bring your feet together. Good job. Okay, the next pose, we are gonna use some props. I'm gonna teach you runner's pose. So you can bring your blocks to each side. Ray's gonna show you the modification. Wendy's gonna show you the more advanced. So we're gonna keep our right foot forward. Left foot comes back, and you're gonna take it to runners. I like you to see the side view too, it's really important. So I'm gonna be switching back and forth here. My front knee is over the heel, right? It's very easy to come up here. I want you to drop the hip down, elongate your spine, and think of dropping from the belly button. Don't drop your head, I want you to lift it up, keep those ears aligned with the, the shoulders. Good, so you can keep your palms down if you're real flexible, come to the fingertips, or it's great to use blocks. You can also drop the knee down if need be, and that feels more comfortable for you. Good, so now if your knee's down, you're gonna lift it up, and slowly we're gonna bring both feet together for folding pose. Good, you're gonna keep your left foot forward, take your right foot back to runner's pose. We have two sides, we need to celebrate. Let's do both sides and hold, good. And hold and breathe. Good, so we're gonna take you down a little bit, Ray. You can straighten your arms. See, his arms are too long, but you 